What is up guys today I'm going to show you how you can make a video just like this one I wanna take the longest trail with you The one that starts right when we say I do From Mary Hall to Brianna Drive To Grand Marais and up the mountainside We'll keep chasing this I love so true So welcome back here i have already imported the audio and the video clips here and we are going to start from the beginning so i'm going to show you how you can make a b-roll sequence just like the intro you have seen earlier so first i need to make a sequence right click here and then go to new item and from here click on sequence right and then you need to choose the resolution that you want to work with so i'm going to settings and here i will just make it a hd sequence which is 1920 into 1080 if you want to work with uh, 4k then you can use the 4k resolution and then the frame rate will be 24 fps and other things will be unchanged i'll just rename it to b-roll and then click ok before you start you need to determine whether it is going to be a suspense sequence whether it is going to be a travel sequence whether it is going to be a uh, romantic sequence whatever it is you need to choose the music according to your sequence right so i have already choose the music that i want to use which is a uh, music that illustrate the video i'm going to use right if i play it back and if i just play it from here I wanna take the longest... so you can see this music has a romantic vibe on it right so we're going to use this music so i'll just make a in point from here I'll press I to make an point and then I'll go to the end of these sentences from the song. I'll just press O to make an out point. Then I'll click and drag this audio here on the timeline, right? So we have already added the music that we're going to use. Now let's add the videos that we're going to use, right? So go to the footage folder and here's the video that I want to use for this sequence. And I need to arrange the video uh, in such a way so that it portrait a story right so first i will begin from this light ray which is this one i'll just make in point from here and here out point i'll then click and drag it to add it to my timeline right now i'll just make it a little bit bigger if i press alt or option then if i take my cursor here and then if i scroll my wheel it will make this section bigger right let's zoom in a little bit so here is the music I wanna take the long so i want to keep this first clip till this portion now let's add the next clip which is uh this one mm. maybe this one where he's stepping right i will just add from here then out point let's add it Trail with you till this point. Now the next clip. You have to just add the clips that you want to add. So I'll just select the clip that I'm going to add for this bureau. So I will add maybe this one, then this one, then this one. Again, I will add this one, then this one, and I will and my sequence adding this clip so i'll just click and drag this clip now i'll trim the clip accordingly where the beat or the song drop or begins so i will again start the next clip from here i'll select this one then i'll press c on my keyboard that is the shortcut to trim or you can just use the razor tool and then you can cut it here then press v to select the selection tool select the clip and then press delete you can right click here and then you can repel delete right the one that starts right when we say i do then i will add the next clip here repel delete Mary Hall to Brianna 
try to grin the rain up the mountains. From Mary Hall to Brianna Dry. Next clip is here. I'll click then repel delete. To grin the rain up the mountainside. And then again cut here. Delete, repel delete. We'll keep chasing this I love so true. Cut it here, then shift, delete to repel, delete it. Then the last clip is here. And lastly, I'll just add my default transition, which is dissolve. And I'll just extend the transition till this point so that it blend out right. For the music, I will also add the default transition and I will extend the transition duration till this point so that is the basic cut and that is the way that you can follow to sync the video clips with the audio if i play it back you'll see it is looking great i wanna take the longest trail with you the one that starts right when we say i do we can just extend the next clip till this point i think the first one is looking too short so i'll just adjust the duration of this clip when we say I do. Mary so that's the clip arranging portion now let's color grade it right so to color grade it i'll add a adjustment layer right click here and then go to new item and from here add an adjustment layer click ok then click and drag it on top of your video clip so that if we color grade on the adjustment layer it carries the color and it applies the color grading on the clip beneath to the adjustment layer right so i'm just selecting the adjustment layer then i'll go here on my lumetri color panel if you don't see lumetri color panel then you need to go to window then just click lumetri color then this panel will appear for this video i'm going to use the curve adjustment to show you how you can use the curve to color grade the video right so if you go to here on the lumetri color panel then you'll see here on this section which called curve there is a curve section there are several types of curve we're going to first use this curve which is rgb curve to add some contrast and to color correct the video so here on this rgb curves there are several points right the first point these points indicates the white colors then here if you see the grid this is an intersecting point right if i click here I am just adding a point for my highlights, right? Here is a point which is in the middle. This is the mid tone point. So if you change anything here, it will change the color or exposure on the mid tones, right? And then here on this intersection point, this is our shadow and this is the black. So this is apparently doing the same thing. If you just adjust from the basic correction and if you adjust the exposure, contrast, highlights, shadow, we are apparently doing the same thing, but for this video we are using the curve which is rgb curve so i want to add some contrast for this video just select a video frame that is uh, the hero frame that will carry the average color of your whole video i think this one is great there isn't excessive highlights or excessive shadow here on this video clip so i'm going to use for the reference right so i want to add some contrast here to add contrast you need to click and drag this highlight portion so that the highlights exposure boost a little bit right and then you need to decrease the shadow portion a little bit so that it adds some contrast it make the difference from the highlights to shadow a little bit more so that it pops up right again if you change this one this is the black color if you change this one it will add more contrast and if you increase this one it will add faded look if you want to have faded look you can just click and drag it in the upper side so that it adds some faded look i'm not going to use that i'll just go to here on my window panel and from here i will enable lumetri scope and from here i will see whether it is clipping or not so this is the clipping light which is zero if i add more contrast you can see it is going towards the zero so it is clipping right i am not going to clip it i'll just keep it here and then i'll just keep it this one very gentle adjustment i'll not add excessive adjustment 
and then I will just increase mid tone a little bit. So if I show you the before, this is the before, and after adding some contrast, this is our after, right? Now, if you want to alter the color of your video, you can use the RGB curve, which is the right beside of this exposure curve, right? If I click here on this red section, you will see there is a red line. This is the green. This is the blue section. So we can alter the color of our video using these curves. If I click and drag this red line here on the upper side it will add red color on my video and if i click and drag it in the downside it will add cyan color the opposite of rgb is cmy which is cyan magenta and yellow so when you are decreasing the red you are apparently adding cyan color again if i go here on the green section if i increase the green it will add green color and if i decrease the green it will add magenta color right and again if i go here on the blue section if i increase it it will add blue color and if i decrease it it will add yellow color so you can alter the color of your video using this curve suppose i want to add some teal color here on my video then i can click and drag the shadow side here because i want to add the teal color on the shadow section so i want to click and drag this black line here on this cyan side right so it is adding some teal Again, I have to go to here on this green curve and from here, I will just decrease the green a little bit. So here is the teal look. And again, I want to add some yellow color on my midtones and shadow. So I have to click here on this blue curve. Then I have to click and drag this downwards. Again, I have to drag this downwards. So I am adding some yellow colors on my highlights and midtones so that's it if i show you the before this is the before and this is after just by using curve adjustment now if you want to add some saturation you can go to our basic adjustment and from here you can add some saturation just add a little bit saturation if you add a lot of saturation it will not look professional sometimes if you decrease the saturation it will look very moody so if you are towards to a moody look then you can just decrease the saturation a little bit then you can go to here on the vignette section and then add some vignetting and change the midpoint again go here and add a little bit roundness and feather it a lot maybe this much okay so it is directing our eyes the audience eyes towards the middle point towards the center point right so if you show the v4 adding the vignette this is the before adding the vignette and after adding the vignette this is the video now we have to scroll through the video whether the clip needs individual adjustment so here is the first one Wanna take the longest trail with you. so i think this one is looking very contrasty and for this clip i will select it individually and then i will decrease the contrast a little bit maybe this much i'll decrease the highlight i will add some shadows then i'll increase the exposure a little bit right the one that starts right when we say i do so here in this clip the exposure is a little bit high so i'll just decrease the exposure and maybe i will add some saturation for this clip i wanna take the longest trail with you the one that starts right when we say i do from mary hall to brianna drive to grand Marais and up the mountainside we'll keep chasing this i love so true forever only running after you so that's it that is how you can make a cool b-roll using adobe premiere pro i think you have got the idea how you can arrange the clip with the music and then how you can color grade it i think you got it right if you have any question then you can write it in the comment section below and if you're new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel because i am uploading adobe premiere pro tutorials every single day i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye
hope that they have your heart.